This is tutorial video number eight, and it is on schedule maintenance. This tutorial video presents the steps needed to maintain your schedule. It's going to go over one, schedule auditing and expectations, two, how to create notes, and three, how to rebaseline your schedule. All design schedules will be audited on a monthly basis. The audit determines whether or not the schedule is on time and if it's up to date and is satisfying all the directive requirements. The regular maintenance required to satisfy the directive includes actively recording task progress. For example, if a task is shown as incomplete but the current date is past the schedule finish date, the schedule is not being properly tracked. If durations need to be appropriated additional time, then a note must be added justifying the allocation of that time. If this task adjustment is on the critical path and results in a milestone being pushed forward in time, then you need to address this adjustment at the monthly project status meeting and request a project extension from the engineering administrator. The request should present your current schedule and it should present the relevant notes that justify why additional time is needed. If permission is granted by the engineering administrator and the obligation plan is updated, you must then rebaseline your project schedule, which is shown in the last segment of this video. During the life of a project, durations will undoubtedly deviate from your baseline. If estimated durations are completed faster than anticipated, that's great. However, if a task takes longer than the estimated duration, you're going to have to provide a task note that explains why a task is taking longer than the originally estimated duration. This is directive requirement number four. Explanations for changes in task durations are added as task notes. The justification for this requirement is so that we can identify major schedule risks that can be incorporated into our developing risk management program. For example, my project has reached final design without any deviation from my baseline, but I was just informed by the hydraulics and drainage unit that this bridge replacement is going to significantly impact the hydraulics at the proposed bridge crossing. Therefore, in addition to the flood management certification, I am going to need a conditional letter of map revision, also known as a CLOMAR. After consulting with hydraulics, I am told that for this particular crossing, the CLOMAR will require three additional months for permit preparation and three additional months for regulatory review. Because this adjustment directly impacted my project delivery date, I have to insert a note. To do so, I right-click the Flood Management Certification Summary task and then select Note. In the note window, I need to provide the date of the note entry and my name. The name of the hydraulic engineer that I'm in coordination with. The additional time needed, which in this case is three months for preparation and three months for review. and then the justification, which in this case is the permit now requires a CLOMAR. I then click OK. You can now see there is a note icon displayed in the task indicator column. A recommended next step would be to drag the email correspondence with hydraulics to the 140 project administration folder. If you would like, use the advanced wizard to attribute the file. But in this example, I'll select No Wizard and then select OK. Then I click the email file and then click the address bar. I then right click the address bar and select Copy. I then go back to my project schedule, right click on the Permit Summary task and select Hyperlink. I right click in the address bar and select Paste and then OK. Now I have a note documenting the schedule change and a supporting document linked to the permit task. Rebaselining a schedule may only occur when a project manager is unable to deliver the project on the scheduled project delivery date. In my example, the unanticipated CLOMAR pushed forward my schedule FTP six months, so I will not be able to deliver the project on time. The next course of action is to bring up the issue at the next project status meeting. The last tutorial video will show how to create project reports that provide milestone dates, task notes, and other critical information that will help prepare you for these meetings. At the project status meeting, I would present my project schedule, my correspondence with hydraulics, and then I would request approval for my adjusted FTP date.
If the engineering administrator approves the new FTP date, I would then go back to my schedule and rebaseline. To rebaseline my schedule, I first need to save a copy of my current baseline to retain a history of my project schedule. To do this, go to the Project tab, click the Set Baseline button in the Schedule ribbon. Select the Set Interim Plan option, and in the Copy dropdown, select Baseline. In the Into dropdown, select Baseline 1. Make sure Entire Project is selected, and then click OK. Now click on the Set Baseline button again and make sure Set Baseline is selected for the entire project and click OK. You have just rebaselined your schedule. This concludes tutorial number 8. Hopefully you now have a better idea of the maintenance expectations, how to create notes, and also how and when to rebaseline your schedule. Please proceed to tutorial video 9 to learn how to combine multiple project schedules.